Well, it's another beautiful morning here at the Alamaya. 6.30, we're walking down to the beach to hop on this little boat to go find a little novelty wave that's great for surfing, strap surfing, can barrel, great air sections. And uh, every morning I've woken up here, I'm pretty grateful to be in a place that is uh, so rich with culture here in Indonesia, but also some of the nicest people I've ever met. And on top of that, there's really fun waves, great for the family. Looking like today there's some waves, nothing huge, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. This video is brought to you by Kari Yuma. They have the sickest shoes. Wait till the end of the video to learn more about their latest release. Wow, it looks like the waves are pretty fun. Probably can't see from here because it's kind of far out. There's just this long right point break that's just insane for foiling. Last few days we've been foiling and uh, it's been some of the most fun waves ever. Just section after section you can do airs on or you can pass, you can do turns. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, no one around. Yeah, how's the sunscreen coming, Mark? He won't share his sunscreen. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Stay protected. <laughs> Nothing can protect you from that guy. <laughs> Nothing can protect you from this man. We're loaded up. If you've ever been to Indonesia, you'll know that the tides really affect the surf. When one wave turns off, another wave turns on. So we set off on another adventure to find the next spot. It just so happened to be at one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. The waves weren't quite doing it yet, but the tide pools were perfect to play with my daughters. My highlight of the day, just my wife and I scoring this epic little beach break with no one around. Here goes Molly on the most perfect little left. If there's one thing I've learned from this trip is how important your board size is. Here I'm riding a board that's 29 liters. Normally I'd ride a 26 liter board, but I find the forgiveness of more foam allows me not to catch the rail as easily. My best waves of the session for sure. When you have such a perfect canvas, you can really experiment with your turns and just let loose. Here, I was really trying to apply equal foot pressure and get as much projection out of the fins. I swapped over to my SUP, that 7.5, by 24 inches wide and three and three quarters thick. And that's about 80 liters. I personally love the challenge of making this type of board work in these tiny pockets.
another day better. This place feels like a postcard. I cannot wait for tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to Karayuma for sponsoring this episode and for supporting me. Check out the new Karayuma Valley Whites. Some of my favorite shoes. I hope you get a pair. You know what? Maybe I'll do a giveaway soon. So stay tuned. Aloha.